Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to our program. My name is Muhammad. My name is Masood. My name is Bilad. My name is Ali. Uh, today, we're um, under the theme of Imam Ali alayhi salam, so we will be asking you questions on Imam Ali alayhi salam, as well as um, saying some quotes and stories. Um, so, uh, our phone lines are open, so you can call in and um, answer the question. Our first question of today is, how old was Imam Ali alayhi salam at the time of his marriage? A. 18 years old. B. 30 years old. C. 24 years old or D, 23 years old. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Uh, Brother Milak, can you read us a saying? Uh, I'll be late. Uh, okay. The Holy Prophet, during his illness, talked to me uh, confidently. I taught, taught, so I taught, so I was taught, you, on thousands keys of knowledge in a manner that each keys opened 1,000 doors. Uh, thank you, Brother Mulat. Uh, Brother Sam Muhammad, can you repeat the question? How old was Imam Ali Lay Salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old, B, 30 years old, C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old? If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Mulat, what did you think of that quote? Well, I, um, really it wasn't really a say. quote. It wasn't really a quote. I think it's more like Prophet Muhammad teaching him, like, of all the knowledge that Imam Ali has. Oh, uh, brother Ali, do you have a story? Or uh, yes. One day, our first Imam Ali Islam went to the market with his servant. Gumbar. There he bought two shirts, which one which was really nice and expensive, and the other which was not nice, not as nice. When Imam Ali Islam returned home, he gave the better shirt to Gumbar and kept the other one for himself. Gumbar told Imam Ali Islam that it would look better if he wore the nicer shirt, as he was the leader of the Muslims, while Gumbar himself was only a servant. Imam Ali Islam answered that Kambar should wear the nicer shirt because he was younger and so it would suit him better. But more importantly, Imam Ali Islam told him that he was a guide for the Muslims, so he had to set a good example by them, for them by leading a simple life. I'll repeat the question. How old was Imam Ali Islam at the time of his marriage? A. 18 years old. B. 30 years old. C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old. If like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Uh, Milad, what do you think was the moral of that story? Is that, uh, um... That you should always give away the nicer thing. Because that's the title. Uh, repeat the question. How old was Imam Ali Lay Salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old, B, 30 years old, C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old. Uh, if you don't want to answer the question, you can call in or read a, um, a dua or a saying of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Oh, we have a caller. Uh, I'll repeat the question. How old was Imam Ali alayhi salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old. B, 30 years old, C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Uh, Brother Mila, do you have another saying to read? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. The strongest man is, is he mm. who is able to control his anger. Now, Brother Masood, what do you think of that saying? I guess, um, I guess it's like something, it's like if someone hits you, uh, and you control your anger, you're strong because you don't, you don't hit them back or you don't get mad at them. And you're uh, being a better person. Right? Oh, and um, we had a, last show we had a saying, um, he who angers you controls you. So basically it means anger is control. 
So if you can c control yourself, you have to control your anger. Thank you, Brother Ellen. Uh, I'll repeat the question. How old was Imam Ali alayhi salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old. B, 30 years old. C, 24 years old. Or D, 23 years old. Would you like me to share a story? Uh, yes. One day a Jewish person came to Imam Ali uh, Salam, thinking that since Imam Ali thinks he's too smart, he's he's too smart. I'll ask him such a tough question that he won't be able to answer it, and I'll have the chance to embarrass him in front of all the Arabs. He asked Imam Ali, "Tell me a number. What if we divide it by any number from one through ten? Answer always comes in the form of a whole number and not a fr uh, fraction." Imam Ali Salam looked back at him and said, "Take a number of." days in a year and multiply it with the numbers of days in a week, then you'll have your answer. The Jewish person got astonished, but as he was a polytheist, he still don't, didn't believe Imam Ali al-Islam. He calculated the answers Imam Ali al-Islam gave him. To his amazement, he came across the following results. The number of days in a year is 360 in Arab, um, in the Arab years, the Islamic calendar. The number of days in a week is seven. The product of the two numbers is 2,520. Now, he um, divided each uh, number by one through 10. 2,520 divided by one equals 2,520. 2,520 divided by two, 1,260. So I'm just saying this, that each time we divided by each number from one to 10, it, it, it added up to a whole Always number. Always a whole number. Uh, Brother Sam uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, the question is, how old was Imam Ali alayhi salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old, B, 30 years old, C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old? If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Uh, Ali, can you read us another saying? Saying your story. Saying. Be like the flower that gives its fragrance to even the hand that crushes it. Uh, can you read us a story? Uh, yes. One day, another Jewish person came to Imam Ali alayhi salam. He was planning to ask Imam Ali alayhi salam such a question he would take a long time to answer because, and because of that, his mokhari prayers would be delayed. He asked Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam Ali, do you know every? You say you know everything in the world. Then tell me, which animals lay eggs and which animals give birth to their young ones? Imam Ali Islam looked back at him and smiled and said, "The animals who are who have their ears outside their body give birth to their young ones, and the animals who have their ears inside their body lay eggs." Uh, uh, it's, like, it's like, uh, for example, a um, chicken ha has its ears inside his body, so they uh, lay eggs, and like yeah. a cat has ears outside their body, and then uh, they give birth. And also a snake, um, they have ears inside their bodies, and they uh, lay eggs. Or like um, a bird yeah. has their ears inside their body, and they lay eggs. Like a ostrich or something. Or a, a duck. I'll repeat the question. How old was Imam Ali alayhi salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old, B, 30 years old, C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old? If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Let's let uh, Brother Ali answer the question. Uh, Brother Ellie, do you know the answer to this question? Oh, uh, can you repeat the question? How old was Imam Ali alayhi salam at the time of his marriage? A, 18 years old, B, 30 years old, C, 24 years old, or D, 23 years old? Um, C, 24 years old. Uh, that is correct. Allahumma salallahu Muhammad wa alayhi
not. I'm sorry, Mother Ellie, that's not correct. Actually, it is. Um, the correct answer was 23 years old. Well, yeah. you were wrong. I'm sorry, Mother, I think you were wrong. Uh, I'll just go to the next question. The real what no, is the, what 24. Is, what is the meaning yes, of Amiro Mokmani? Um, a, leader of the men of paradise, B, commander of the faithful, or C, the successor. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Uh, Brother Mila, can you read us the saying? Uh, okay. A wise man thinks, then speaks. He fool speaks, then thinks. Um, do you have anything to say about that? Uh, you know, like, um, you know, when a person, when they're just like, maybe they're angry or something like that, they just, without thinking, they just say something that maybe that they, um, they didn't really want to say because, you know, they didn't think of saying That it. they might regret saying after. They might regret saying after. So that's why it's, it's always um, good to think before you speak to make sure you don't say something you don't mean. I'll repeat the question. What is the meaning of Amiro Mokmani? A, leader of the men in paradise, B, commander of the faithful, or C, the successor. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Brother Ali, can you read us the saying? Um, yes. If Allah, if Allah guides you to remember him, it's a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. What do you think of that, say, Muhammad? Um, there's an example, um, you know, uh, if you're like, um, if you like do something wrong, like say um, you have like, um, you look at someone's diary, um, you um, and then the person catches you, like before you read it or anything, or you do anything really bad. Allah is like, um, <clears throat> he's like showing you a sign that you shouldn't do that. So it's like a punishment, but because people saw you, it's a punishment because it's just showing that Allah loves you because He stopped you from doing something. Wrong. I'll repeat the question. What is the meaning of Amir al A, leader of the men in paradise, B, commander of the faithful, or C, the successor? If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Uh, you don't have to answer the question. You can uh, read a saying or noha, a story, uh, anything you want. So, uh, Brother Ali, can you read us a saying? Ah, uh, yes. A believer is someone who is fair to someone who is not fair to him. So, um, I basically think that, you know, basically a lot of people, they're not fair and they say, oh yeah, they're doing something that you wouldn't do. Try to be the better person. Like, uh, if someone at the store, they, like, they cheat you or something. Don't like go back and you know like cheat them. Just be like Ali said, the better person, and just bring up slow. You lot, can you read us the saying? Yeah, I will. Um, I believe in all. Uh, I believe in Allah like I believe in. Uh, if you want to see where your heart is, see where your mind. See where your mind goes when it wants. See where your mind is. Uh, when it wanders. I'll, I'll repeat the question. What is the meaning of Amir Mu'mani? A, leader of the men in, of paradise. B, commander of the faithful. Or C, the successor. Uh, Brother Milan, you want to answer this question? Uh, would you like uh, to repeat it? Can you repeat um, it for me? What is the meaning of Amir Mu'mani? A, leader of the men in par of paradise. B, commander of the faithful, or C, the successor? Uh, C? Uh, that is correct. Allahumma salallahu alayhi wa So the answer is, the leader of the men of the uh, Amir al-Mu'mineen means the commander of the faithful. Our next question is, what side of the Kaaba was Imam Ali alayhi salam born? A, the door. B, the corner, or C, near the black stone. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Or um, you could, you know, read a du'a or a saying of Quran. 
Or um, say a quote uh, from Mom Ellie Lady Salon. Brother Ellie, can you uh, read us a saying? Ah, uh, yes. I believe in Allah like I believe in the sun. Not because I see it, but because of it I see everything. Um, I basically think like, um, it just makes too much sense to understand. I mean, like you, if you can, you can see the sun, but you couldn't see anything. Of, uh, you couldn't see anything if it wasn't for the sun. Like that shows like some of the um, miracles of Allah, like um, you know, like the sun. Like uh, you know, everyone like how it was made. Just um, it's very um, interesting. So uh, interesting. There's like no updated basis about like how it was made. There's only one Like the answer, solar like. system, everything else, all created by Allah. We can't even like begin to see like, we only know about like our solar system and a few planets, but there are probably so many planets that we don't know about. We can't even, uh, you know, imagine how many other planets or even galaxies that Allah has created. Maybe the jinn can. I'll repeat the question. What side of the Kaaba was Imam alayhi salam born? A, the door, B, the corner, or C, near the black stone? If you'd like to call, please dial the number, number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. Milad, can you read us another saying? Oh, yeah, okay. If someone hurts you, then don't be upset as it's the law of nature that the trees with the sweetest fruits are beat the most. Uh, yeah, I think this is like, um, where you know how, um, like, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and Ali Alayhi they were uh, picked on by so many people, like the stories we read. They wanted to make them look like fools or something, but really, they were the best kind of people, so they're really jealous of them or something. Now, there's a story about um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That, uh, there's this lady who used to throw garbage at Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam every single day. And uh, one day the lady didn't throw garbage at him. So Prophet Muhammad went to her house to you know, see what was wrong and why she wasn't there. And it turned out that she was sick and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was visiting her. And then after after he was visiting him, she was like, oh, I can't believe that you visited me after all I did to you. And she became a Muslim. Um, but before that, um, when he was coming there, she said she thought he was going to come to get revenge or something because she was sick. So she was uh, she got scared. And then he said to her um, not to be like scared because he's not going to hurt her. Brother Sayyid Muhammad, could you repeat the question? Uh, the question is, what side of the Kaaba was Imam Ali Salam born? A, the door? B, the corner, or C, near the black stone. If you'd like to call, please out the number, number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. So, uh, Ali, can you um, share with us something that we could do to um, help the community? Um, really, there's so many things you can do. But, um... Like, what would you do to help the community? What do you do to help the community? Well... You can ask anyone that question, uh, but you know. Other Milad, what do you do to help the community? Uh, so when I think of community, I, I think, think of uh, recycling. Could, yeah, yeah, recycle or uh, community service. You can help other people. But um, the only people who do community service are like prisoners who have sentences to do it. And there's also volunteers. Yeah. So uh, what do you guys do to um, help out the community? What do you do? I uh, I recycle. I pick up the trash. You know. Yeah, uh, brother Ellie, what do you do? Um, well, mostly garbage stuff, but most people do, since like most garbage gets burned. Uh, yeah. brother Milad, can you share with us another thing? Uh, yeah, I will. Keep your thoughts cleaner than pure water, as water drops make a river. Thoughts make character and faith. So, uh, what are your thoughts on that saying? Um, it's like, um, you know, it's just saying to keep your thoughts clean because that's like the building of your personality or your, um, your characteristics, like, um, what your thoughts are that has a big effect on who you are and what you do. 
Uh, say, say Muhammad, can you repeat the question? What side of the Kaaba was the Muhammad Ali Islam born? A, the door, B, the corner, or C, near the black stone? If you'd Masood, like to call, can you, dial the number can on you, the Masood, screen. can you read us a saying? 523-3766. Okay, uh, I'll read a saying. Do for this life as if you live forever. Do for the, do for the afterlife as if you die tomorrow. What's your thoughts, thoughts about that, Brother Mahalad? Um, uh, my thoughts are, um, in the next world, you can, like, you know, enjoy yourself, do everything that you want to do. You know, um, like, enjoy yourself. But in this world, you have to work towards the afterlife because you, if you don't try to go to heaven, you won't go to heaven. Like, even little things that you do have a huge impact of what happens in the next world. Yeah, and I forgot which surah it was, but um, I remember when it said something like, the next, some, um, it says in the Quran somewhere, I forgot which um, verse, but it says that people say, say they wish they did more for the, um, this life when they see uh, hell, when a uh, man is face to face with hell. Was it uh, Surah Waqia? Um, I don't think so, it was. It was Surah Fajr. I think so. Uh, Brother Ali, do you want to uh, answer the question? Uh, yes, can you repeat the question? The question is, what side of the Kaaba was Imam Ali Islam born? A, the door, B, the corner, or C, near the black stone? Um, B, the corner. That's correct. Allahumma salli Allah, Muhammad Ali That's correct. Imam Ali Islam was born near the corner of the Kaaba. Uh, the next question is, what is the name of Imam Ali Salam's mosque? A. Masjid al-Kufa B. Masjid al-Haram or, or C. Imam uh, uh, Imam, uh, Imam Ali Mosque If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen which is 925-523-3766 I'll read another saying Lacking forgiveness is the worst. Um, what do you think that means, Ahmad? Uh, it's like you know someone who um who doesn't forgive. Like if someone does something bad to you, they just never forgive anyone, and that's 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 um bad deed. Do not forgive because Allah says to always forgive. Yeah, because if you're merciful on someone else, the uh, Allah um, that will be merciful upon you. I'll repeat the question. What is the name of Imam Ali Ali Salam's mosque? Masjid Al Kufa, Masjid Al Haram, or Ma Imam Ali Mosque? If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, screen which is 925-523-3766. I'll read one more saying. Of all defiances and hastening uh, and vengeance is among the greatest of sins. I guess, uh, Brother Mila, what do you think that means? Um. Um, can you repeat like, that? Um, oh, of all defiances and hastening, and vengeance is among the greatest of sins. I guess that means that, like if someone uh, does something to you and uh, you like you okay, take revenge. revenge, that's still bad because you did something to him. Yeah, like um the story um Brother Simon was trying to say, uh, Prophet Muhammad saw something did not take revenge on the person who was throwing garbage at him. Uh, I'll repeat the question. What is the name of Imam Ali Salaam Mosque? A. Masjid Al Kufa, B. Masjid Al Haram, or C. Imam Ali Mosque. And um, <laughs> an example of the saying is, you know, two wrongs don't equal what right. So, um, what happened to uh, someone I know? Um, they, um, someone said something to them, and they got really oh, angry. Oh, we have a caller. Oh, caller. Salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Our caller hung up. Um, uh, what's, what's your name, name and where are you calling from? from? My name is Hussein. I come from California. Uh, would you like to answer the question? Yes. Uh, what is the name of Imam Ali al-Islam's mosque? A. Masjid al-Kufa. B. Masjid al-Haram. Or C. Imam Ali Mosque.
Am I rolling up? That is correct. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. That is correct. Thank you for calling, brother. Bye. Halafis, have a nice Halafis. day. Halafis. Halafis. Um, the next question is, who took over after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? A. Abu Bakr, B. Abu Sufyan, or C. Yazid? Or D. Umar. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. You can read us the saying? Of course. Be obscured and do not attempt to be famous. Do not elevate yourself in order to be... Oh, no, we have, we have caller. caller. Oh, never mind. Okay, let me repeat that. Be obscured and do not attempt to be famous. Do not elevate yourself in order to be remembered. Learn and conceal, find safety in silence. You please the righteous and outrage the wicked. Wicked. I guess that means like to be yourself. Yeah, like don't like try to go high to be like remembered or something. Yeah, like don't try to lie like you're famous and rich. Uh, oh, we have a call. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What's okay, your name and where are you calling from? from? My name is Huma and I'm calling from California. Uh, what do would you like, you like to you answer our question? question? Yes, please, I would. Uh, the question sure. is, who took over after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? A. Abu Bakr, B. Abu Sufyan, or C. Yazid? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question again? The question is, who took over after yeah. Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. sallallahu alaihi wasallam? A. Abu Bakr, B. Abu Sufyan, or C. Yazid? D. Umar. Uh, actually, uh, first of all, I uh, should say that uh, Prophet Muhammad sallam, had uh, said that Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, should succeed him uh, but Abu Bakr actually is the one who uh, took that uh, who became the first uh, caliph uh, so the answer is Abu Bakr that, that is, is correct Allahumma sallallahu alayhi thank you for calling oh thank you uh, actually can I say I'd like to say something to uh First, uh, 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 congratulations to everybody on the birthday of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Of course, that just passed actually on the 13th of Rajab. Uh, but I would also like to say uh, to remind everybody uh, about the importance of role models uh, in for all of us, uh, and that Imam Ali alayhi salam is the best role model for us. Uh, he was intelligent. He was brave. He was strong. Uh, he was close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, in every way, in his manners, in his akhlaq, uh, demonstrates to us what a, the best human being is. And I know there are many people out there, many role models. They may be good at something or good at something else. But Imam Ali alayhi salam, above all, uh, of course, being the bravest, was uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was pleased with him. So this is something that when we choose a role model, uh, that these are the role models we should choose, the ones who are uh, uh, the best of human beings so that we can be the best. Whoever we follow, we will try to be like them. So uh, we have to try and focus on trying to be the best that we can be through akhlaq by watching how Imam Ali alayhi salam or in the rest of the Masumin alayhi salam were so that, inshallah, uh, we can have the best lives and be successful in this world and the next world. So I just wanted to share that with you, and inshallah, we may think about that in ourselves. Are, do we have good role models in our life, and are we doing the right things? Uh, look at who your role models are. Maybe you need to change them and say, you know, are they... Uh, Imam, uh, is Imam Ali alayhi salam my role model? Am I being like he is? Am I doing like he would do? Uh, if you are, then alhamdulillah, you're inshallah on that path. But we have to pray that inshallah we get on that path and choose him and not only just say it by our words, but in our deeds and our actions, be a follower of Imam Ali alayhi salam. And I pray that we all, our children, all of us, let's make a prayer, inshallah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the true followers of Imam Ali alayhi salam, and that inshallah, uh, we are successful in this world, which will make us successful in this world and the hereafter.
Okay, thank you so much, actually. Alhamdulillah, you guys are doing a good job, Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you, Khadafis. Okay, uh, the next question is, what name, what names was Imam, Imam Ali alayhi salam? What, oh, what namaz was Imam Ali alayhi salam? <laughs> what namaz, what was, namaz Imam? was Imam Ali alayhi salam reading at the time of his poisoning? A, Fajr, B, Maghrib, or C, Asr? If you'd like you to call, please add the number on the screen, screen which is 953 Uh, Brother uh, Ali, can you read us the saying? Uh, yes. Honesty saves you, even if you fear it. Uh, so what do you think that means, Brother Shemad? Um, if you, like, um, if you're afraid to tell the truth, you know, it's always, you should always tell the truth because even if you think something seems very bad and, you know, you did something very bad, it's always better to tell the truth because, you know, it could be on your side. You could have done something wrong and not, you could have done something right and not known it. So, um, it's always good to tell the truth. It's also a great sin if you, you know, lie to someone. Uh, I'll repeat the question. What namaz was Imam Ali alayhi salam reading at the time of his poisoning? A. Fajr. B, Maghrib, or C, Asr. If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766. The Brother Milad, who's your role model? Uh, I don't really have one, though. How about uh, your parents? That's pretty sad. Isn't your parents your role model? Oh, well, yeah. There are, but... Yeah, they are my role models, but, yeah. Uh, how about uh, you, uh, Brother Ali? Um, my role model is, um, well, now it is Imam Ali al Now it is. Uh, who was it before? Uh, Prophet Muhammad al Islam. All square. Two very good picks. Oh, we have a caller. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Huma and I'm calling from California. Would, Would you like, like to answer, answer the a question? question? Yes, please. Uh, what namaz was Imam Ali alayhi salam reading at the time of his poisoning? A. Fajr. B. Maghrib. Or C. Asr. Uh, I believe it was Fajr. That is correct. Mm. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad wa alayhi Thank you for calling. Uh, actually, I would like to ask each of you something, if I may. Uh, what what is the what story that you have heard of Imam Ali alayhi salam, or what characteristic of him uh, do you admire the most? Or you want to tell us a story that that you heard that you what you liked about it, what you heard about him. Um. Imam Ali's, um, his bravery and, um, his honesty. Uh, does it, do you try to do that yourself in your life? Uh, do you, uh, is that something you feel that he should be, uh, that we should try to be like him? Do you feel like you need to try to be like him? Yes. Uh, anybody else, actually, if they'd like to share something? That uh, about Imam Ali alayhi salam that they find that really um, have made them. Imam Ali alayhi salam is like uh, strong, trustworthy. Mm -hmm, trustworthy, yes, that's very good actually. And anybody else, uh, we would very um, much like to hear what you have to say. He was kind to other people even though they were mean to him. Uh, what example do you have of that? Uh, the story that, um, that uh, we shared with you guys about the one um, of the Jews that were mean to him and try to, the one that tried to delay his prayer, prayers. Yes, uh, yes, he was, alhamdulillah, actually. Well, thank you so much. If anybody else would like to share something, uh, we would like to hear about that. Uh, also from the callers, too, if anybody would like to share anything, any sayings or anything about him. So that uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam, inshallah, is watching this show, 
and is seeing all the children and all the participants who are trying to spread his word uh, so that people get to know him. So if you want to share something so other people can get to know him, uh, we'd love to hear from you too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for calling. calling. Okay. Office. Thank you. Have a nice day. Full office. Yes, that is correct. Imam Ali Lay Salam was poisoned while reading his Fajr Namaz. Um, uh, I like to uh, relate to a uh, saying that we uh, Masood shared before. Um, it's the one was about the vengeance, vengeance part. Um, I can relate to that because I knew this guy in my school that he was playing basketball and then they were reading, they were winning by a lot, and then the person that uh, on the other team punched him in the ear, and he um, didn't fight back because he knew he would be in trouble if he fought back. Did the uh, other kid get in trouble? Yeah. Um, so uh, can you share with us the saying? Uh, the saying is, injustice is a crime that can never be forgotten. From the mom all the way um, what do you, uh, what are your thoughts about that, Brother Samad? Uh, if you do injustice to someone and then, you know, you act all nice to them after, you know, no one's going to forget what they did to you. You know, if you, if you really do something wrong to someone, it's not something that you can just, you know, you know, bribe them later and then be all nice to them later and never be forgotten. Uh, I'll read the next question. How old was Imam Ali alayhi salam? When he become, when he be, become uh, an imam, a, four years old, or b, eighteen years old. If you like to call, please dial the number on the screen. Twenty-five, five, two, three, three, seven, six, six. Um, Sayon, can you share with us another thing? Uh, a liar's biggest punishment is that even his truth is rejected. Uh, uh, Brother Mila, what do you think about that? Um, uh, I don't really have any thought about that, so how about you, Brother Ali? Um, I still think it's, uh, like the boy who cried wolf. Like, even if you, like, even if, even, like, every day, like, if someone, like, lies about something, like, a lot of times, like, even if you tell the truth about something, no one's going to believe you. So, like, with the boy who cried wolf, he's told so many lies that the wolf... No one believed him, and the wolf ate him. And the sheep. And the people who didn't listen to him. No, the wolf didn't eat them. They were just like, I don't know, um, shocked that yeah. there was actually a wolf there. And I'm sorry that the uh, they should have listened to the boy. But the boy was the liar, so the, the people didn't do anything wrong. It was just the boy's arrogance. He was a bad shepherd, basically. So, Simon, can you share with us another thing? Surely, science. Surely, silence can be the most eloquent reply. Uh, I'll repeat the question. How old was Imam Ali al Salam when he became an Imam? A. 40 years old. B. Or B. 18 years old. Or C, um, after the death of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'd like to call, please, out no, the number on the screen, which is 925-533-3766. Or you could, um, read a saying from Imam Ali Alayhi Salaam. There's a bunch in his, um, book that, uh, Nachul Bal Alpha, it's about a bunch of his, his, um, his sermons and a lot of sayings in that book. About my mom in Islam. So, um. I'm saying, do you have another saying to share with us? Uh, patience ensures victory. Patience ensures victory. Oh, uh, we have a caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Are you saying? I'm saying I'm calling from California. And would you like to answer our question? Yes. The question is, how old was Imam Ali alayhi salam when he became an Imam? A, 40 years, B, 18 years, or C, after the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Wait, can you repeat the question? C. Wait, did you say C? 
Yeah. That is correct. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa Thank you for calling, brother. Same. Okay. Have a nice day. Halafis. Yes, that is correct. The answer to that question was C. Imam Ali Islam became an Imam after the death of uh, the Prophet. Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'll read the next question. Who took care of Imam Ali Alayhi Salam for, for much of his childhood? A. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. B. Abu Muttalib or C. Abu Talib. If you'd like to call, please add the number on the screen. 5 to 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, you know, you don't always need to talk. If there's nothing good to say, then don't say it. Like, if you just want to make fun of someone because there's nothing to say, it's better just not to talk. I, I can relate to that. It's, um, my teachers, like, when we were correcting our papers, <laughs> when we were correcting our papers, um, everyone got the answer right, and then basically everyone got it right, but then when she goes like, oh, did, uh, who got A, who got B, who got C, right? And there's always this one kid that wastes their time, or it's like, oh, I did, or something like that. Or lies or something, or then they waste our time. And no one really wants to hear them, they just don't want to listen to He's about the school stuff. He's annoying kid of the class, and, you know, no one really likes to hear those kind of people. Because they waste your time. And, you know, it uh, hurts the overall class when you're bothering. <laughs> The next question is, I'll repeat the question. Oh, we're we a caller. Assalamu alaikum. Come on. Wa alaikum assalam. What's your name? Is your name is from? My name is Homa and I'm calling from, uh, I'm sorry, I'm calling from California. <laughs> How would you know Would you like to answer the question? Yes, please. The question is, who took care of Imam Ali Islam during much of his childhood? A. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam B. Abu Mutalib Or C. Abu, Abu Bakr If you'd like to call, please dial the number on the screen, which is 925-523-3766 Yes, I'd like to answer the question. Uh, it is uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, actually, if I can share something else too, uh, I know you mentioned a hadith about uh, about speaking, uh, and one thing I'd like to say, another saying of Imam Ali alayhi salam, uh, is that he said that um, see your deeds, uh, see your words as deeds. Uh, that if you say something good, it's a good deed. Uh, so see them as your actions. Uh, don't just say them just to say them and just fill up time. But when you say something, make sure it's good and realize that this is something that could be, inshallah, it could be helping you and, and it can add to your good deeds. So inshallah, we realize that uh, because so many people talk all the time, they keep talking, 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 but there's very little you get from them. So, uh, inshallah, we pray, Ya Allah, to make our words, uh, that we have more good words to say, inshallah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Uh, that was correct. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and took his family took care of Imam Ali, much of his childhood. Uh, the next question is, the last question, the last question is, how was Imam Ali alayhi salam related to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family? Uh, a, uh, brother, uh, B, uncle, or C, 
cousin. If you like to call, please tell the number on the screen, which is 925 Uh, can I answer this question? Uh, okay. Cousin. Okay, uh, that is correct. Hello, So, that's uh, all our questions today. I'm uh, going to um, say one more Sing. saying. He who trusts the world, the world betrays him. That's from my mom, Holy Lee Salam. Um. So, um. Brother Ellie, would you like to comment? Uh, yes. Like, say you like, um, uh, you might not trust caller, Allah, but caller. you trust Allah. This will just say the same question. Right. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello? Assalamu alaikum. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from Georgia. Okay, would you like to answer our question? Uh, yes. Okay, Masood. Um, oh, there's one more. Uh, where was Imam Ali alayhi salam born? A. Mecca. B. Medina. Or C. Najaf. Mecca. That is correct. Well, that is correct. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa Jafar. Uh, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Okay. You're welcome. Have a nice Allah. day. Allahumma that is correct. Imam Ali salam was born in Mecca, in the Kaaba, you mentioned earlier. Uh, so, uh, thank um, that's all the time we have for today's program. So, and thank uh, you for all those the callers, who, all the callers who called, called in and participated in our program. Um, and now we're going to read uh, five Alma Yujibs for um, the poor people in the world and sick and people in need. Amma yujibu mustaraida dahu yakshifasu. 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 Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa Jafar. Thank uh, you for everyone. Once again, who, thank you. Thank you for everyone who called in today's show. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. next week for another exciting episode of Alaya Kids. Kids. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.